going, what is your problem? <laughs> and so what happens, though, the challenge with this, ladies and gentlemen, it creates stop. It creates stop attitudes and behaviors. A lot of you see the technology. I mean, I love John and Teresa's uh, presentation. It, was, it set the conference so beautifully. But I saw as I sat in the audience a lot of disconnect. They're going, I'm here. How do I get there? And so what we have sometimes, we have this stop attitude mentality that, you know, it's up for you to make me successful. I look for the boss that will be the perfect parent. Hey, I'll change if you change. Freedom depends on someone providing it for me. And great competitors don't go forward that way. And you'd be shocked at how we get here. You'd be amazed what causes us to stop, and I call them killer phrases. We say them too often. They're ingrained in our habits, in our behaviors, in our speech patterns. No way. That'll never work. I can't do that. That's a bad idea. Hey, we've tried that before. It's not in the budget. Hey, I, I just don't really feel like I want to get involved, okay? And so what happens is we have this stop pattern. My son Joe, as a little boy, runs into the house. Dad, 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 I've got a great idea. What is it, Joe? And he tells me his great idea. And as a parent, my response to his great idea is, Joe, son, that'll never work. What did I just do to him, ladies and gentlemen? I moved him quickly to his stop sign. And where do great competitors go? How do we go from here? We leave this conference, this controlled environment, and walk out there. The jungle hits it between the eyes, hits us with, with cell phones and laptops, and Monday shows up, and we go back to what we know. How do we overcome that? We overcome it by staying on our go side. What is it? 